Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict again. Uh, we're uh, we're back for episode two of, of Tanner's truck, and kind of we're going to go into a little more in-depth detail about his modifications and things he's done, and you know, changing it from a single wheel one ton to a uh, four wheel drive dually. So uh, I guess we'll just get right to it. So we all know, you know, from previous episodes that it was you know single wheel four wheel drive, but when you got it back. You turned it into a dually. I, I know earlier you were telling me about that you know you had a spare set of dually fenders in case these ever busted because they're so hard to get and stuff like that. So kind of kind of tell us a little more about how you have gotten it to this point. You know what some of your modifications are. You know kind of about your calhood. You were telling me an interesting story about your grill and headlights and all that. So I, I'd like to know pretty much everything. So. Well, uh, I guess we can start at the front of the truck. Work our way to the back. Sounds good. Um, the uh, headlight bezels and grill are actually off of a first generation Ford Lightning. Um, got them from a fellow OBS addict. Uh, Rick, I'm coming up to see your place sometime. <laughs> Me too, I promise you. Uh, it does have a uh, two inch Cal Cervini's hood on it. Um, I actually found this hood um, a gentleman had it on a Lightning uh, about 20 minutes south of me. <laughs> so you have a lot of touches from a Lightning. It does have a Lightning touch for sure. We'll get to that further. He's got some even more stuff. Uh, I mean, it's got its imperfections, but I got a sweet deal on it, so I kind of couldn't pass it up. Hey, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. <laughs> um, the dually conversion. It is the factory Ford front hubs. They are off of a cabin and chassis cabin truck. truck. Um, I bought, these are the Ion Alloy 16x8 wheels. Um, I bought, it's obviously four aluminum wheels and then the two inner seals. Well, what, what's cool about the iron wheels to me, this is me personally, is it's a, it's a similar look to what the truck would have came with factory, mm -hmm. but it's got just enough of a different flair on the on the holes in it yep. to give it that unique touch for, yep. you know, kind of updating it, but not taking away and going 22s or 24s or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so. although everybody keeps telling me to put forces on it. Well, I, if they want me to, you know, they can go ahead and pay for it. I'll do it. <laughs> Hundred dollar bills out. Hundred dollar bills. Oh so, yeah. Um, as far as the rear section of the truck for the dually conversion, uh, the bed and the axle I bought together. Um, they are off of a '96. Another Craigslist find. Facebook find. Yep. Uh, a little three-hour journey to go pick up the bed, uh, pick up the axle at the same time. Uh, came with everything. Uh, obviously, we made the journey back safe. Uh, the company I was with at the time, they had a body shop, so they did the paint and the body work on the bed. I still need to match the front. There's plenty left to do, guys, I promise. <laughs> but that's the, that's the best thing about these trucks, though, is like, quote unquote, you're never done with them, but there's always something interesting and different to do. Yeah. And then, you know, like, you don't see many four wheel drive duallys. Like, there's, there's a handful that you can probably count on one or both hands how many that they're actually out of the country. Yeah. I'm sure somebody will try to prove me wrong on that, but there's That's not fine. very many. <laughs> um, but you've got a nice choice of tire here. They're not like huge and, and filling up the wheel wheel and looking crazy. So what size tire have you got? So these are uh, 285, 75, 16, e-load range. Uh, they are Thunder track grips. Actually, I bought these tires off of Amazon. <laughs> 822 bucks for all six. Can't beat that. I mean, just, the reviews I read on them, everybody was running them on dually four wheel drive. Well, so like, I like, figured I'd take it and run with it. Right. Well, like one of our biggest questions we always get, like especially when we did Devin's video on, on his Johnny Cash truck, you know, what size tire does he have? So, yeah. you know, we, we like to get that information from everybody. And, you know, that it's, it's, it's all the little personal touches that make it your personal your truck yep. you know that's cool to, to learn about like earlier you were telling me about your rear bumper and that's kind of an interesting story since this truck did not come with a rear bumper yep so kind of kind of fill us in again so everybody can hear this story uh, so i was cruising through craigslist facebook marketplace you know what us <laughs> obs guys do yeah Internet. exactly yeah the wife's like get off the phone yeah we're getting ready to lay down in bed we got our phone in our hand it's charging you know we're searching uh the bumper. Uh, what woman are you texting? Nobody. This guy's got a bumper, and this guy's got a lift, and this guy's got wheels and tires. And I'm waiting to hear back. Who is Dana 60 in your search engine? I <laughs> yes. So yeah, again. Anyway, the rear bumper. Uh, the guy had it on a '97 pickup. Uh, he had gotten it a couple years later, and it was on a farm truck. And 
the pristine condition that I saw this bumper in and like the hundred dollar bill that I gave for it was very exciting. <laughs> it's always the thrill of the hunt. Yes. Um, yes. Well, I, and I know, you know, kind of, you know, all the little touches and things, you know, and, and the, the thrill of the hunt, if you will, you've got your, you got the hood off of a, a lightning truck that you bought and you've got the lightning, you know, headlight doors and the, the grill and all that, but you even have two sets of lightning seats in this truck. Yeah. So how did you acquire two sets of lightning seats? Like a lot of us like scrounge for years trying to get lightning seats. I actually seats. have three sets. Uh, one's going in, <laughs> one is going in my dad's uh, gray regular cab that he's got. Um, I got those for him as a Father's Day gift. Right. Uh, so the front set of seats actually came from Georgia. Uh, a gentleman that I had actually talked to for about six months. Um, we were, he was like, I want to try and sell them locally, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, and then we actually worked out a deal where we could ship them. So he shipped them up to me. Uh, the first set that I have, that are actually the back seats, uh, they came from a gentleman who had a Lightning in Olathe, which is about 20 minutes south of me. Um, he's building it to be a track truck. So he's going to have five point harness, yeah. all that good stuff. So I got those sets of seats, and then uh, Tom Cooper, I think that's how you say his last name. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think so. Kepper, I think maybe. Yeah, he's got the copper and tan truck. Yes, the copper that, and tan truck. That's how I know. Yeah, matter of fact, your favorite colors, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, he had a set for sale, and we kind of, you know, bickered back and forth a little bit about the whole scenario. Well, his dad actually came down to, I guess, a work meeting, maybe, yeah. uh, and delivered the seats to me. So that was the third set that I got for my dad's trip. Wow. So just lucky all the way around. Literally everything for this truck and everything about this truck has just fallen into place. That's what happens usually when you have an OBS, and so that's, that's kind of what we all have. I need one more thing. One more. What's that? I want a big foot back window. Mark, <laughs> I know you've got like 30 of those things, you and Rick, so maybe share the wealth a little bit. I want one so bad. It would just, it would. I mean, obviously, I have a few other details that I need to do to the truck. Uh, I'm going to do, once we get back from the trip, I got to do the front leaf springs. Uh, it won't get any lift. If it does, maybe a half of an inch. Yeah, just enough to... New shackles, new springs, new track bar. Um, I Everybody's like, RSK it, RSK it. I'm kind of... I kind of like the original. You're kind of, kind of going to stay. So I've been around it, you know. I kind of want to stay that way. You ride like a truck, so you're going to ride like a truck. Um, a couple of the next details that are on this thing, um, I want to do the front end work. Uh, obviously, well, I would probably shoot you if you look at it. Yes. Well, especially right now, being eight months pregnant. Right. Uh, but yeah, I want to do that. And then next on the list, I want to take it down to BTS, uh, have them build a training for it. Um, I don't know anything about this transmission, this truck, and I took it on a, about an 18 hour journey. Bam. Uh, pulled 12 to 14,000 pounds all the way home. Not a single issue. But everybody knows the BTS is the man when it comes to the transmission. Yep. So, as always, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know if there's any videos or trucks you'd like to see us interview or discuss or talk about, whatever you want to call it. And uh, don't forget to leave your comments in the video. Thanks.